Well, welcome. Thank you. Uh, so, on the 11th day in one of the longest Fury Motors Pioneer Press treasure hunts in uh, recent history, the medallion got found. And they are two-time winners. Yeah. Jake Ingebrigtsen. Yeah. Rob Brass. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll let you talk to them in just a second, but they are the winners of $10,000 in the treasure hunt and here to present the check from Fury Motors, Rick Peterson. Yeah. Well, basically what had happened today, um, my digging tool, my hole broke. And uh, I mean, I, and I don't know if I would have found it had that not happened. I had to go back to my car and I told Rob, we gotta have a little conversation about the clue from last night, you know, when we get back to the car. So I went, decided that uh, an ice pick would probably be the best tool to use because, you know, I had been thinking about the clue and there'd been a lot of references to walking paths. And, you know, I told Rob, I'm like, dude, we, the rest of the day, we gotta use the rest of the daylight. We really gotta focus on the paths. So, um, me and Rob went right back to the spot we'd been at. It, it, Definitely fit that clue last night better than anything else. It was dug up yeah, completely. It, I mean, it, except for the paths. It looked like uh, <laughs> it looked like a bomb had gone off, except for the paths. It did. It did. There, there was there was hundreds of hunters yep. all over the place. The the, the the snow was turning brown already. The yep. dirt was turned up, but the walking paths that everyone was using was still intact. Yep, yep. And and so Rob crossed the log that it was right next to and went probably five feet away and started digging on the path. And I, you know, I just started chipping away, and it was kind of funny because I'd made the comment to a couple people that were right by me that, um, you know, I really liked the line last night about, uh, in this area, you'll find medallion hysteria. And I just remember, I went down to my knees because I thought I could get more leverage because it was really tough to get through the ice, even with an ice pick. And uh, I remember all of a sudden I, I was able, you know, just to, just to take some ice off, and I took a huge chunk out. And all of a sudden, I saw the corner of the medallion, and I told the Pete that it was a young couple that was next to me. I'm like, hey, I think I got it here. And the next thing I knew, I pulled it out, and there it was, and I, I freaked out. <laughs> Jake, Jake screamed, and, and uh, I, I, I turned, I immediately knew. I jumped over the log, and he was just pulling it out of the snow. And we just sat there in amazement, staring at each other, uh, like yeah. on the ground, knees on the ground. Yeah. People instantly crowded around yeah. us. Yeah, I mean, there was a crowd, easily three, four hundred people, right there. And you know, I let you know, don't tell, don't let Lori hear this, but I, I let them take pictures, touch it. We know. <laughs> we know. That was on Facebook too. Jake, <laughs> and, Jake. and you know, you know, I really, you know, and I, I really kind of feel that, you yeah. know, this isn't my treasure. It's everyone's. It's everyone's. And you know, I, I know that before I found it. I really would wish I would have had an opportunity to just, you know, see it, touch it, you know, because up until I found it, I had no idea really what it looked like. People so, want to see it, they want to touch yeah. it, they want to know that they're that the yeah. digging is to be done, that they can leave the park. You just want to put your check down, you don't sure. have to go. <laughs> I promise you, you'll get the money, it's good. Um, so you guys won in 2007, Yep. right? Yep. Was this harder, easier? 2007, um, you won in what, a couple I, of days? Yeah, three, 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 three days. Months. And you know, I, I, I think I could probably say that both physically and mentally, this was probably the most difficult hunt I've participated in. It was draining, yep. especially with the, the rain on Saturday. Yep, and that, that oh. was by far my toughest day as a treasure hunter. I had a baby boy on the way in eight days, and I just want to thank my wife for being so supportive, let me hunt. let me come out every day and she has to go to work pregnant and work all day. <laughs> I mean, I was down there with some other people, um, Brad and Jana and Alex, I believe. The four of us were down there Friday night and we were not far from it. And, you know, we never really left the area. I mean, you know, I, you know, I found it great, but, you know, there were a lot of people that I had this figured out. It could, it, could, it could have been found a couple of days yep. ago. And I also have to say that even after the clue, uh, not last night, but the night before. Clue 10. Was yeah, there were still people on the other side of Pickle yeah. Lake, and I have no idea but, what they were doing over there. No, what so, really, yeah. what really focused you know, the Pioneer Press started this in 1952. What do you guys... Both two-time winners. What keeps this going? Why do people keep coming out? Well, I mean, it's it's you know it's a great event. I mean, you know, where else 
I mean, you should have you should have been down there last night. It's so fun. I mean, yeah. it's just like it's it's in the middle of nature. It's relaxing. Yep. It's it's just a great time. You know, and it's a lot of fun to talk to people and meet people. You know, and you know, you know, somebody put it best when they said, you know, there's people you meet and become friends with that you never meet in your normal social circles. And yep. I think that that that's really true. So I think the next step is for us to find it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> Woo!